This is a solar air heater. It consists of uh, insulation board covered in aluminized mylar that is simply uh, duct taped on the back. And there are two, two of those al aluminized uh, four by eight boards for each, each uh, hot air uh, collection box. Uh, each box is covered in greenhouse plastic. The, the first box has uh, one layer and the second box has two layers. These, these, uh, the reflection here with the insulation boards can, can nearly double the amount of light that's hitting the box. This is a, an eight foot uh, pole here with just a, an eye a hook and a nail on each end. The the boxes have been painted with high temperature paint. You can see the second box looks more reflective so that I mean it is not as black so it looks like some light is being wasted from the greenhouse plastic not letting all the light through so so glass probably would have been better. I, I did some tests and it looked just as efficient as glass. Uh, it lost only about 8% of the energy uh, per layer just like glass would and, and that's from reflection off the front and back surfaces of the material. Uh, they claim it's the same a transparency of, of light of glass um, but it certainly doesn't look like it. It has, has a black, has, it's not you, I would expect it to appear more black. Uh, this takes about 10 minutes to, to take up, uh, put up and uh, take down. The uh, 4 by 8 uh, in when the sun is, is at a, a good angle in the sky uh, uh, collects about 3 kilowatts of sunlight. Um, with, with these insulation boards, it nearly doubles, so it's theoretically as up to 6 kilowatts uh, for each board, so that's 12 kilowatts. Uh, my, bottom, my bottom two are not catching any sunlight right now, so, so this is effectively 3 4 by 8 so that's about 9 uh, kilowatts. I, I measured it, the heat uh, going into the house, and it's, it's only 2 kilowatts coming in. Uh, the way the way to measure it is to is to get the cubic feet per minute of your fan by using uh, two large trash bags and letting the fan blow into the two large trash bags and, and time it and uh, you can get 33 gallon um, uh, trash bags and you can you duct tape the two trash bags face to face and then and then open a hole in the back and, and see how long it takes the fan to blow it up. This is an eight inch ductwork, which is really not enough. Uh, my fan is 100 cubic feet per minute. I, I had to buy the $7 on, on the connection for this, this ductwork. This 25 foot ductwork is, is, uh, was $25. The insulation boards were uh, $30 for three, so that's $60 in insulation boards, probably about uh, $10 in paint, $10 in plastic, you know, um, may, may, maybe the total is, is uh, about 150 the, the inlet is the same as the outlet, and it's just, there's no baffling, which isn't needed because the bottom, the bottom uh, as the air warms up, it goes to the top, and so uh, air theoretically from inside the house. Although right now it's not so cold outside, so I'm just bringing in ambient. Um, but the hot hot air will rise, and so if it's cold air coming in, it'll it'll fall, and so it, do, it doesn't need to come in at the bottom, and, and probably shouldn't. And the same thing on the outlet. I just I just bring in off the top. I should have raised that one closer to the top. I measured the temperatures inside, and it's and it's uh, it's actually hotter at the very top of the box than the air coming out. So I should have raised raised that hole higher. Um, 
uh, it's 140 degrees, 130 degrees coming out right now, and it's uh, uh, 70 degrees coming in. So I'm really just testing it, and so that 60 degree temperature times 100 cubic feet per minute fan divided by three gives me 2,000 watts. Uh, I believe uh, four inch fan. These boxes are four inch, four inches deep. And the sides are, are perf board on this one and Luon on the other. Um, there's two, two boards going down like here on the inside. It's a, uh, and it's a, a shelving angle bracket to give it support on the, on the boards this way. And you can actually see the, the shelving uh, support there. I had to spend some money on hinges to make this nice. These these fold up. The, the whole thing folds up and then uh, I have two handles on the back. I had to do a little fixing to get to bring this one bring this one off the board. Uh, they give it was needed in order to give a little support to the board. These are, there's a screw going through there to the hold, hold it across like that. Uh, for the uh, ductwork coming in and out, I cut uh, the lu luan um, as for support against the, the insulation. This, the backing is just the insulation board. There's, there's no, there's no big weight to it. I think it's about uh, 25 pounds for each of these boxes. So, two, 2,000 kilowatts coming in, and with the sun at the angle where it is now, and three, and supposedly nine kilowatts max, it's probably only seven kilowatts coming in, and two kilowatts uh, going, going out. So, that's, uh, let's see, around something like 25% efficiency so it's not nearly as much as I thought it should be it should be closer to 50 because you only lose 8% uh, from reflection on this one about 12% reflection on on this one from the two layers of greenhouse plastic uh, heat losses are, are not that much because my duct work is not large enough and my fan is not large enough um, and uh, it's 140 degrees coming out, which is too hot, which means the boxes are too hot and then they're losing some heat out the front plastic. It, you want the temperature as low as possible by using the highest, the, the fastest possible fan with the largest possible ductwork. And that's the main reason these box designs, the uh, hot air box designs are, are difficult uh, to implement because of the because of the ductwork that has to come out of and into the house. 